Hey, chosen ones. This is your sister fire. Salute to all my soldiers and warriors out there standing strong and firm in the Lord. So I came today to talk to y'all about as chosen ones, we are not religious, but we are spiritual beings. And I say that to say this. We are not perfect. And as a matter of fact, a lot of us do not profess to be perfect. However, others on the outside looking in think that we're perfect. And I guess that might be because as a chosen one, we walk in the spirit of excellency. So we tend to do everything with excellence. We, we, we tend to put our all into everything that we do. And so we may appear to others to be perfect or think that we're perfect, but that is not so. We are just simply striving to live a righteous life. Okay. So what I, what I want to say in this video is that I don't want you all to down yourselves um, because you may still be struggling with a certain sin. Okay. Because God understands you know, and a lot of us be having strongholds on us that we got to get off. And the Bible talks about that. So if you have a stronghold, what you need to do is fast and you need to pray. Okay. And you need to resist the devil so he can flee. Since I'm talking about that subject. Yeah. Let me go ahead and, and give y'all that if you already don't know, because I don't want none of my brothers and sisters to be stuck with a stronghold. God will break it up off of you. But you have to resist the devil and you have to fast. You have to. That's the only way you're going to break it. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're not perfect. So if you're struggling with a sin, don't be down on yourself. God is going to help you. And I just told you how he's going to help you. And you have to want to help yourself by resisting that devil so he can flee. Okay. Um, you know, don't worry about the naysayers. This is your life and you only have one life to live. So you got to live your life to the best of your ability. You can't live your life based off of what someone else says you should do and what you should wear. It ain't about what we're wearing. Okay. It ain't about how we talk. I had somebody say something to me the other day talking about, um, I talk too proper. What does that have to do with anything? You know what I'm saying? I am proper and I can be, I don't know, what's the, uh, some, I, I guess a little, what is the other word? I guess a little ghetto, I guess uh, with my speech. I don't even know what to call it, but I talk proper. Yes. But what does that have to do with anything? You know what I'm saying? I'm delivering the message of the Lord and you're worrying about, I talk proper. But then if I was to talk, I don't know, ghetto or hood where people couldn't understand me, then that would be an issue too. So you see what I'm talking about, how, how it goes. You cannot live your life based off of what other people think. You have to live your life based off of what God says and what you think is best for you. So if you are still struggling with certain sins, it is all right, my brothers and sisters. You just keep praying to the Lord and you keep resisting that devil and go ahead and fast and you'll be all right. God understands. But don't ever think that you are too far in sin that God don't want to talk to you. Don't ever think you can always talk to God. I done been on drugs before talking to God, praying, Lord, help me, help me. The whole time, I don't want to do this. Help me, Lord. You feel what I'm saying? In my past, of course, <laughs> I got to make that, I got to make that clear because then it could be a rumor going around I'm on drugs. No, way in my past, I done been on drugs before and, and I had to pray to the Lord, please, Lord, help me get off of this. Please, Lord. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, You know. And I had to break up out of that religious spirit because I was brought up in the church and, you know, they long skirts, you could only wear this, you could only do that. And that religious spirit, what it does is it, it, it will 
it will actually turn you away from God. It will turn you away from God because it seems like everything you do is not good enough. And God don't operate like that. God is trying to, or not trying to, well, if you allow him, God is going to work on you from the inside out, my brothers and sisters. Okay? So he sees, you know, every effort that you make to do the right thing. And he's right there with you. And he is not finna condemn you because you slipped up and said a cuss word. You know what I'm saying? He understands. As long as you are praying and you are repenting, God got you. He's with you. He understands. And with that being said, that is the message today, my brothers and sisters. I love y'all. This is your sister, Fire.